Can democracy save the environment? That's the theme of this year's World Forum for Democracy. Three days of discussion and debate held here at the Council of Europe in Strasbourg. The event opened with a video message from the President of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. He set the tone for this ninth edition of the Forum. Adopted a series of texts demanding a paradigm shift in international and national law as well as government policies to ensure that a healthy environment is recognized as a basic human right full stop. The Secretary General of the Council of Europe stressed the importance of addressing environmental issues at all levels. We need this on all levels, local level, international level, government level. France's permanent representative to the Council of Europe noted that a balance had to be struck between participation and action. La lutte contre le réchauffement climatique, la transition écologique se fait avec par les citoyens et donc nous avons besoin de toutes les initiatives citoyennes et c'est l'objet de ces trois jours de débat. The mayor of Strasbourg insisted that change can only be achieved with buy-in from citizens. We can't impose things. We need to have people who are really on board, uh, but who want to live better, in better health, uh, to ensure a good future for their children. And if we work on this together, we can really act. The first plenary session focused on whether national governments, international organizations or citizens were setting the pace on the environmental front. The UN Assistant Secretary General and head of the UN Environmental Programme set out the essential ingredients of sustainable solutions to climate challenges. What is it that we're looking for today in the environmental space? Truth, because there's been a lot of misinformation. Trust, this has come up again and again. The need for trust and the need to believe in what is being discussed is, is very central. Voice. Citizens want voice, citizens want to be heard, citizens want to have their priorities converted into policies and that becomes really important. Policies that are based on science and on evidence. Many participants today spoke of the waning confidence of citizens in their governments and democracies. We reached the highest ever registered level of trust in government and it reversed the downward trend that we were seeing before. In parallel to this, we find renewed trust in experts. I think trust is really important. I think though, you know, you, trust comes by being honest. You're there to help resolve problems, but everybody has a role and everybody has responsibilities. A number of speakers underlined that environmental problems can only be resolved when citizens, public institutions and the public sector work hand in hand. Only democracy can save the environment, I have said that before, but in a strange way, maybe environment can save also democracy in the way that it can mobilize people throughout the world. Party politics is part of democracy. This is actually the the tool in democracy uh, somehow to detect, to channel in and to express the will of the sovereign nation. As I think today in democracies, the default uh, legitimate tool to represent the uh, interest of, uh, of the society. Today's discussions clearly illustrated how the environment and democracy are intricately linked, in that they both contribute to healthier, safer and happier lives. We have to understand that we're, when we're speaking about the climate, we're speaking about the quality of our life. And of course, a day at the World Forum for Democracy would not be complete without a little bit of music and a chance for people to come together less formally. We'll be back tomorrow with coverage of more lively debate and discussion.